What's the most difficult physical activity you've done? A few years ago, my wife and I hiked Pikes Peak in Colorado. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. The mountain is a beast, especially if you begin with the incline, which is this mile long hike straight up an old cog railroad that basically looks like a staircase for giants. Seriously, Google it. And then after that, you hike another 7,000 feet of elevation until you end up above the tundra line at over 14,000 feet in elevation. It's intense. And a lot of people find it hard to breathe at the top, which I guess is why they sell donuts at the peak of Pikes Peak. 2020 felt like climbing Pikes Peak and maybe getting chased by a grizzly bear while climbing another Pikes Peak and then getting bit on the finger by a rabies infected chipmunk. <laughs> A pandemic, an election, fires, hurricanes, school, no school, school, no school, <laughs> masks, canceled weddings, funerals we couldn't attend, sick family and friends we couldn't visit, lost jobs, businesses that went out of business. If at this point last year we had known what was coming, we would have wanted to quit 2020 way before it began. It's no wonder that Jesus in his wisdom encouraged his followers. Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. The reason we've made it to today, to New Year's Eve, is because every day of 2020 taught us to survive the day we're in. The gift of 2020 was the way it forced us to take each day as it came. We had to trust God with tomorrow because each day was filled with decisions we had never made before. And Jesus invites us to live this way all the time, to depend on God as both our provider and our help, and to trust that God, he can take care of tomorrow. So let's take that lesson with us into 2021. Let's leave tomorrow in the hands of our good and loving Father, and through the help of the Holy Spirit, focus on what God has for us to do each day. Because as we just celebrated during Christmas, our God is Emmanuel, he's God with us. Which means that whatever today brings, God will be with us to help us, guide us, comfort us, and direct our steps. So don't worry about tomorrow, my friends. Don't worry about what 2021 will bring. Trust in God today and every day.